Allow me to please introduce to you Christina Gregory and Julie Casey. Christina Gregory is the Divisional Vice President for the Eastern Region of Nationwide Retirement Solutions Emerging Markets Business. She leads a team of seasoned wholesalers who apply their experience and passion in presenting solutions and thought leadership to financial professionals, plan sponsors, and their participants. Christina is joined today by Definity's Julie Casey, who some of you met yesterday. Julie is a regional relationship director in New England, helping advisors design plans to meet their clients' needs. She has an extensive background in plan administration and is able to explain technical design issues in layman's terms. She also has a depth of experience in bringing errant plans back into compliance. Welcome, Christina and Julie. The floor is now yours. Thank you so much, Sandy. Really excited to be here this afternoon. Great to uh, meet you all virtually. And Julie, I'm so excited to partner with you uh, today and excited to continue our partnership with Definity. So today we're going to talk a little bit about 403B and 457 plans and where we see a big opportunity. I think we've co uh, you've covered this over the past couple of days, but maybe there's a couple of nuances here and really what that opportunity to prospect really looks like. Uh, the bottom line is we are here to help both Julie and here at Nationwide, all of our wholesalers in the field and our back office, our operations, uh, really know the 403B market very, very well and are here to help you prospect and the nuances of some of the technical things uh, with 403B plans. So with that, Julie and I, we're, we're ready to go. We're ready to go, Christina. Thank you. Let's have at it. I love it. Hopefully this works. There we go. So quick disclosure there that you know we always have to do. But the bottom line in the 403B market is it is becoming more and more like the 401K marketplace. If we were talking about the nonprofit world uh, in its relation to ERISA and non-ERISA plans 10, 15 years ago, it would have been a much different story. But through regulatory changes, through um, you know product enhancements, the 403B marketplace is becoming a lot more like the 401K marketplace. And why really does that matter to you? Both Julie and I, when we were prepping for this conversation, had talked to a lot of advisors that say, you know what, I'm not in the 403B market. I know it's a little bit different. I'm not an expert in that world, uh, but there's no reason why you can't. Your value that I know you are all bringing day in and day out to help be the quarterback of that plan to uh, engage with employees, to really help with the overall benefit offering uh, you know, to that retirement plan. That is no different uh, in the 403B or 401k space. So again, we're here to help you with that. When it comes to 403B plans, there's a couple of, of different types of entities that a 403B plan uh, or that is eligible for a 403B plan. First and foremost, you see your public schools, right? Your K through 12, a 403B is the main uh, way that teachers and professors can uh, defer compensation into their retirement plans through that 403B. Then of course you have your private or traditional nonprofit entities that qualify under the IRS code section 501C3. And then your church and church organizations that are always considered non-ERISA 403B plans. I think it's important to note that both Definity and Nationwide, we focus heavily on the two components, the 501C3 private nonprofit entities and your churches. We are not in that K through 12 marketplace. Julie, anything to add there? We do a lot, a lot of work with the 501C3 organizations, Christina, and I, I will throw out there to you advisors, don't be afraid. There will be a skeleton in the closet of an old 403B plan, but that's our role at Definity to handle that. So let's focus on the positive. Absolutely. Absolutely. So as we had mentioned earlier, there are a couple of technical things to be aware of when it comes to 403B plans. And again, as Julie just said, you don't need to be an expert or anywhere close to it. But when uh, these things do come up, they are advantages to 403B plans, plans from a technical side, both with no ADP discrimination testing and with universal eligibility. Julie's the expert here. So, Julie, what else do you want to add to that? 
Sure. So uh, now you're right, Christina, that the rules have really, really changed. And I am a dinosaur in this industry. So I remember how it used to be. And in the old days, the uh, not-for-profits had to use the 403B mechanism, but now they can choose to use a 401k or a 403B. And there are pluses and minuses to both. And that would be our job to go with you, Mr. or Ms. Financial Advisor, to determine which would be best for this client. It's true there's no ADP testing in a 403B, which is awesome, but it comes with universal eligibility. So perhaps the client wants to have a year of service. So then we might go the 401k route. We're, help you, we're here to help you make that, that determination, whatever the client is looking for. Absolutely. That upfront consultation is very important that both our teams are really to, here to help you with. And I think it's important to note that employer contributions within a 403B are just like a 401k. You have a lot of flexibility with matching contributions, vesting schedules. You have flexibility with profit sharing, even though it's a nonprofit, but it looks like a profit sharing type of scenario where you can actually do age-based profit sharing and things like that. So very similar to your 401k plans. As always, contribution limits just came out. I think you've all seen that all over LinkedIn and with notifications from your best record keepers uh, and TBA partners. But uh, no, nothing really to add here other than just an awareness that those uh, limits have gone up slightly for 2024. Another thing to note, and I'll pass this over to Julie, is there is a special catch-up contribution available within 403B plans. Don't need to know all the ins and outs, but just an awareness for those employees that have been with the nonprofit for 15 years or more do have the capability of adding more to their deferrals into the 403B plan. Julie, anything to add there? No, I think you've covered it, Christina. It does need to be written into the plan document. And we, we I'd say maybe 25% of the time I see this written into a plan. So if you run across this, just give us a call and we'll help you work through it. Absolutely. There are also some resources that we have available both at Definity and Nationwide to help you prospect in that 403B arena. So one of these is a public uh, piece on the irs.gov website that gives you a little bit of questioning to a plan sponsor just to kind of see if they're aware of some of, the, of those technicalities and things to be aware of in a 403B plan, like catch-up contributions, like universal availability, like you need to have a plan document if there's employer involvement now. Um, so these pieces are something we can certainly walk you through along with sample questioning, uh, sample entities out there to maybe get out and, and have some initial conversations. One of our last slides is really kind of diving into the universe of the 403B opportunity. Number one, like we had mentioned earlier, we tend to see it be an underserved marketplace and really a realm of the world that probably needs more help than any other uh, type of entity, right? I mean, normally you see a culture here that's very passionate about what they do. Uh, and again, they don't have that sort of advice and education that you all as financial advisors can really bring to them. So we tend to find because of the nuances with the technical side, that's a little bit underserved, which is what our minds really, we see that as a lot of opportunity for you. As the 403B world has become more like that 401k world, so have the products, right? The products have really um, developed and become more alike over the years. Years ago, you used to see, and you know, they're still out there, a lot of group annuities or individual annuities within this 403B realm. Nowadays, you certainly can see that mutual fund-based 401k product, a 403B product, similar to what you would see in the 401k world. Because of those annuity type platforms, uh, sometimes the 403Bs are difficult to move, right? They can be in these individual annuities that cannot move as a whole. So participants would need to literally make the decision, each and every participant, and whether or not they want to roll those assets into the new 403B plan that is offered at Nationwide or your other record keeper partner uh, with Definity. So that can be a little cumbersome up front. It certainly can require a little extra work on, on uh, the advisor and nationwide and Definity's hands, but we are very used to that marketplace and certainly have some capabilities and services to help you move uh, those types of individual 
uh, annuities over to the new provider. Another thing to keep in mind in the nonprofit world, it tends to be a very connected community. And even in this post-pandemic world, or especially in this post-pandemic world, healthcare is a great example of that, uh, where uh, they're really looking and reviewing their benefits, right, to help attract and retain employees because of what happened during the pandemic. So healthcare, again, is a great example of that. Uh, but once you tend to network in that nonprofit world, we find it opens up other doors because they're coming together, especially with some of these fourth or B maps that we're seeing out there. They're coming together to review their uh, retirement plan benefits, review their benefits overall, and sharing ideas across uh, across multiple entities. So great networking um, networking you know opportunity out there. Absolutely. Employee engagement is something else. We mentioned uh, retaining and attracting employees. In the nonprofit world especially, uh, we find that they are using these retirement benefits to engage with their employees in a virtual world. Of course, you're seeing that in the for-profit for world also, but the retirement benefit and all the financial wellness tools that Nationwide and other record keepers are, are to have at your uh, fingertips can really be useful in the nonprofit world because that's something they are definitely very interested in from what we find. The other opportunity is 457Bs. Of course, in those smaller or even larger nonprofits, you tend to have executives uh, and key uh, employees that have been there a very long time or uh, do make uh, a little bit more compensation or a lot more compensation than the rank and file employees. Advisors can use that 457B as a talking point and a backdoor into that larger 403B plan. So don't forget the 457B. Talk about that with the executives, with the committee to say, are you really looking at that 457B also? This is an avenue that the executives can use to double up on their salary deferral and also offer some uh, other contributions in the plan. Anything to add there, Julie? Yes, definitely. So we do bolt those on a lot, Christina, because as I mentioned about the difference between 403B and 401K, in the 403B, we don't have to do an ADP test, which is the deferral test, but we do have to do the match test. And if you have some higher earners, sometimes that can fail, cause a problem through the organization. But if we use this 457B, we're able to put contributions in for the higher up execs that won't mess up the testing. So it's a really, really good opportunity plan design wise. Absolutely. And again, something to keep in mind because we don't find everybody's always talking about that. Absolutely. So to differentiate you when you're prospecting, right? And then secondly, it, or lastly, is know the culture. Do your homework, of course, like you would with any prospecting opportunity. Culture is very important. Again, these tend to be very passionate people. They have a goal in mind of what their entity, why their entity exists, right? Uh, nationwide, we tend to do very well in nonprofit world. Although we are an insurance company and mutually held insurance company, we are a top 10 company in the entire United States for giving back to our communities. So our culture, our engaged employees tends to work very well in that nonprofit world. So we have a lot of that business and our experts and work with Definity uh, to be able to bring that best in class product uh, to your prospects. We mentioned earlier some challenges with plan transition. I just want to highlight that again with individual annuities because there are opportunities out there for you as an extension of your plan. Julie had mentioned their capability with orphaned 403B accounts and the compliance work that's required within 403B plans. Here at Nationwide, we have a, a team of licensed individuals that are here to help sit on the phone with participants who have assets somewhere else and help them roll that money in. It is into the current plan at Nationwide. So we really see this as an extension of your business, as an extension of your team. So you could take that legwork off your table and we can work with those participants to move those assets into the plan. So you get paid, of course, on that entire plan. Move those assets in, it's always growing, doing what's in the best interest, of course, of those participants. But this is an award-winning, participant experienced, and all of these retirement plan counselors are there really just to help those employees, educate them on the benefits of rolling their assets in, 
understanding asset allocation, if that's what they really want, and how much to defer into that retirement plan going forward. So with that, we have an entire team across the United States here at Nationwide to help you with your 403B and, of course, 401k prospects and 401k business. You know, please don't hesitate to reach out to us if we can do anything to help you grow that business, be more efficient uh, in your retirement plan practice. And Julie, what else? Thank you very much, Christina. Uh, we love the fact that you have that uh, assistance with rolling that money in because we have to keep track of that too. So if it's all in one place, it makes everyone's life easier. Absolutely. And I will uh, say the same as Christina. If you have any questions, we're happy to help. So please reach out to both of us. Yes. Thank you so much for the opportunity, Julie. Really appreciate it and hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you, Christina.